Check, check. It's poppin', man. You already know what time it is. Your boy, Mr. J Hill, was in the building. Let's get this straight. The cruddy edition. Man, you know what I'm saying? We thuggin'. When you independent, you gotta do shit like this. You gotta make it work, and that's what we doing. My nigga Yellow BZ is here. Hey, Appreciate it? you. For First sure. of all, I wanna say thank you for taking the time out your day to, to make this shit happen for, for you. Sure. Okay. For yeah, sure. you have to do this shit. This shit is. It's crazy, but I appreciate it, man. Sure. Uh, let's get this down. Bang panties for this shit. But um, as you can see, I'm recording on the phone. Yeah. This is 100 percent independent, bro. Strictly me. And yeah. I feel like out of all the people that will understand this hustle is you. Right. You uh you put, you got something going on with um LA Reed. Yeah. It's a like partnership. Yeah. You ain't signed to nobody. Right. So I feel like it's only right that we go straight into the independent talk and how important it is and how hard it is. People just see the success. They don't really see the, the grind. This shit. Right. We in a motherfucking restaurant express. Right. How important is that independent grind for you? Mm -hmm. It's always going to be important because like, I got to put the muscle into it. Like, I got to do a lot of shit that a lot of artists can't do right. or don't got to do. So regardless... So when I be on to have days off, I ain't really got no days off. Shit, right. I got to put out my all to the shit, so shit, if I want it, I'm going to get it. Right. Yeah. What's some of like the, the hardest things you had to conquer just coming through your time until now? Like, what are some of the things that you ain't really want to put up with, but you had to go through that to make it where you are now? Uh, the hardest thing I had to conquer was life, period. Just everyday shit. Just everyday struggles. Just everyday struggles. That goes with everything. Like, Music or just personal life shit. Right. So every day it's a different task. Just life is about rich, you know what I'm saying? So I, I had to fight coming out of motherfucking Dallas, you know what I'm saying? Not having no big outlet to where I can move around shit until now, you know what I'm saying? If right. I continue, I'm gonna continue to do my thing. No, of course, man. You definitely do your thing. Talking about Dallas, that you mentioned it, I'm from Baltimore or whatever. So I feel like Baltimore and Dallas had, we got a lot in common, kind of, because I feel like. Even, I was just talking to Justin Lawrence, we were talking about accents. I feel like y'all accent is crazy. Like, people talk about it all the time. Yeah. Same words, like, we talk about two, you, and shit like that. Right, it's right. always weird. It's like, you get a lot of that, people talk about your accent, how it's yeah. so funny or whatever. Yeah, yeah, all the time. But they, they, for the most part, I don't get really like no bad. They just sound real country with the shit, but, you know what I'm saying? Shit, I, I ain't from where you from, so right. shit, you gonna have to deal with it. Facts, facts. Another thing I think, like, in Dallas, a lot of niggas ain't come out of Dallas, like, when it comes to rapping. We got a lot of artists coming from the South, but specifically not out of Dallas itself. Exactly. I feel like a lot of, I don't only niggas I know from Baltimore and, and the artist thing is Drew Hill and fucking uh, Mario. I feel like it's the same with y'all. Oh, it's like, yeah. when I look at your interviews, like, it's so relatable because it's like, it seems like you got the city on your shoulder almost. Yeah. You know? How does yeah. that feel? Uh, this is a blessing, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, a lot of this shit I pray for, so I'm living in that. And shit, when you pray, you got to be careful what you pray for. Shit, I got it, but so so that's what I want. I'm gonna take it in the head lot and take advantage of it. You feel like it's the pressure is there coming from other artists, like yo, you gotta continue to put on and then put us on type shit? Nah, I don't really fuck with who fuck with me anyway. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And like the motherfuckers I hear relationship before, if I see somebody that I can help out, I can, but at the same time, I'm still trying to do my thing, you know what I'm saying? I ain't where I want to be at yet. Right. I'm, I'm there, I'm blessed, I'm grateful, but I ain't satisfied. You know what, right. what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, like, you know what I'm saying? I'm respecting the chick. You got to respect the chick. You think you got more love coming from, um, like, in your city when you started getting popping? Hey, yeah, yeah. I had to yeah, the, the whispers that we was hearing, they would just make believe shit. Niggas get to try to create something, but they ain't have shit on them, nigga. But most of all, like, 85% of shit, like, it was all love. Was, you know, it's gonna have hate. You gonna have hate once you get somewhere, once you succeed, once you be successful. That shit comes to territory. And you said you just bought your, uh, your first crib, or you bought a crib, is like outside of Dallas. It's not in Dallas, it's like right outside of Dallas. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, I, it's like not outside of Dallas. It's like, nah, I haven't had half the shit before. You know, I say, do you think you gotta, like, because if you know, Boosie, I remember you say um, he was one of the influences, Boosie Cash Money. Um, those were some of your influences. And Boosie, when I interviewed, he was like, man, you got to get out of your hometown because niggas be so much hating it. They just want to come up off of your name. Right. You feel like that's true? Yeah, I mean, they gonna, they gonna, you, you going to get most of the hate from your city because, you know, a lot of motherfuckers just can't stomach the success of what you didn't conquer, like shit you to cover. And a lot of people want to be in your position. They feel like they once in front of you or they... Motherfucker want to be where you and y'all from the same place, so of course, you know, they gonna hate regardless. They gonna hate just because you from there. They'll show love to everybody else outside the city, but like I say, it comes to territory. So you can move around, or you can just move different, or you can do both. Right. Yeah. You feel like you that. I mean, after the situation, you get shot, I feel like you definitely had to like move different, yeah. and shit like that. But how? 
when you say different, was it different in a way of like, right, I need more security or because I feel like a lot of times as artists, being from the streets or whatever, even myself, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not an artist, but sometimes you get a platform and, and we think that we downplay our celebrity. Like, I'm still a nigga from Dallas and you're, and you're mad at, and it's like, I can go everywhere I want to go because I'm still right. a nigga from Dallas. You feel like you downplayed just celebrity at that moment? Yes, P, I damn play myself all the time, like when it comes to that, because I'm just a regular nigga, I don't be thinking I'm too much. Right. Or, or think I'm better than nobody, but shit, to a certain degree, you're going to have to you have to gain that little cockiness or that little spark in you and to, 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 for people to treat you better, or you, or you just need to realize, nigga, you is somebody. Nah, but yeah. I feel like, bro, honestly, looking back at this shit, I feel like you was, you was lit for a while before niggas even heard about you. Like, even you had something on um, uh, the first... It was like, I guess it's like two million now. It's like, uh, nah, it's like a song you talk about. Hang on. Hustle. It's before Up One for sure. Trapping Design. Trapping Design. Yeah, exactly yeah. what it is. I, so yeah, yeah. looking at Trapping Design, I'm thinking, when you're looking at these niggas coming up, usually they be, you can see the struggle. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, Trapping Design, you still got that. Big yeah, money. Yeah. You still got the motherfucking uh, Cuban label yeah, on. Yeah. So it's like, you still was getting it. Yeah. Even then. That, that was, like, I tell people all the time, like, shit, I was already, like, a lot of shit that, that, that motherfuckers buy when they get their rap check, I ain't really had to buy because I already had the shit. I'm not trying to brag them, number like, and we were knee deep in this shit. Like, we were really getting to it, so, I mean, it's, it was, you can look at videos before that, like, I had my say where I didn't have all the, the, um, jewelry and no shit like that, but I always kept myself presentable, dressed up type shit, you know what I'm saying, so. You always got to be presentable, regardless. How important is that to the artistry, though? Like, to the music you make? You got to. You got to. You got to, you got to, uh, type of shit that I mean, you got to have the jewelry, you got to have the, the clothes. If you rapping about the shit, you ain't got to be back on me. Right. Regardless if you got it or not. And that, that's, that's getting into the, the back end, be, be easy. Like, that's a nickname that you decided to name your album. Yeah. yeah. Where did the nickname come from? Just collecting out the back end, just show money. You know what I'm saying? Just getting the back end, like you can secure, you gotta secure the whole bag when you get the back end. The front end cool, they just have the money. Explain that to some of the artists or the people that might not know what the back end is. Shit's the back end. Like you get the front end, you get half the deposit before you get to the show. You get before you walk in the door, before you leave your hotel, you get the regular, I mean the rest of the money that's owed to you. Right. To secure the whole bag, you gotta get the back end. We want all back end secured. Yeah, all the back. I feel like when you uh, when you get the deposit up front, sometimes you spend it. You rather do that shit? Yeah. No. I, I'm a real good save money. Flex, flex. I ain't gotta touch a dollar. I can come out the closet for a whole year straight if I want to. Like it's easy to save money when you got money, though. Niggas, like you don't eat. A lot of shit. A lot of people burn through that shit. A lot, a lot of people run through this shit. A lot of people can't keep money. Like they they live show to show, or some boxers live fight to fight. Right. You know what I'm saying? A lot of motherfuckers blow money. They just burn their pocket. They got to spread it. They got to get it. Me, I'm a different breed. Like, I know I got to save because this shit ain't going to last forever. You know what I'm saying? So you got to have shit put up and save it up. Now, I'm talking about the back end, man. That's the name of the, uh, the album, Back End Easy. You got a lot of... I went through the, the tape like twice since yesterday because it's a little bit like, I came from Baltimore to DC when you was in DC yesterday to try to get the interview. It ain't work. I had to go back home and had to come back on this motherfucker. So like, I listened to it like twice, like 55 minutes long. So it's, it's an easy listen. Start off with um, Matter, Quick Look, right? You had, cut that shit up quick. Yeah, like, yeah, he, yeah, yeah. So yeah. coming off of the jump, you're trying to get niggas to like, we gonna rock out because this shit is fire. Like the first matter, I think that was a perfect intro for right, this scene. Right. Because it pop, it, it sounded like you were listening to your last year. Right. I feel like a lot of people are doing that with their intro. Right, right. And you think you did that on purpose for your intro to, to make people want to tap in and not of see of course, you gotta you gotta come in strong every time. Right. I feel like this, you gotta just make content or make music. A lot of that shit play a part in your range of the songs too. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? You just gotta have the the, the, the right arrangement in that motherfucker, you know what I'm saying? Another thing I want to talk about, I had to look at my phone, because the Boosie, I don't want to call it the sample, but you had the, uh, Boosie had made a song, Beat you the Pussy Up. Oh, yeah. yeah. Hey, no, 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 you talking about, uh, Beat the Pussy Up, yeah. Yeah, so Boosie had dropped that, and would you call that a sample? Ain't a sample, just like a, like a cover slash homage, paying homage. Right. You know what I'm saying? Did you talk to him before? Uh, I ain't talked to him when I did, because going through some things. Right. Do you feel like the, how do you, because I feel like a lot of times you're talking about some artists might call it stealing, some yeah. artists 
stealing when you trying to run off and you not trying to let motherfuckers know where you got the shit from. Like, I'm paying homage to the shit. If I do the shit, you gonna know I'm purposely doing it. You know what I'm saying? I ain't trying to run out with nobody dripping nothing, but shit, that was, that what came to me when I heard that beat shit. I just went with. I, I, fuck with, I know when I fuck with, uh, you got a song that you singing and shit. I mean, you had a group, like that. Like, trust. Trust. That shit is probably you always singing. It's like you were yeah. singing. It's like... That's just easy. You know what I'm saying? It's just like, I can, I can go all over the board with it. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? So, Where did that come from, though? Uh, probably singing the church choir when I was young. Oh, you were singing the church choir? Yeah. Church choir. But you wouldn't expect, I feel like... And your music, you wouldn't, that was the last thing you expect, a nigga singing with Chris Bryant. Nah, I mean, a lot of people don't know that. You gotta, that's, that's what the interview for, to bring out shit that people don't know. You know what I'm saying? Shine light into a situation that ain't never been brought up before. But yeah, that, I was in the So you was hiding in church? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, I, um, you know, I don't want to hold you up. Like I said, we're gonna fuck that predicament. But I definitely appreciate you, though, bro. I can't okay. even say it enough. Um, hopefully, one last thing, you said. Before you got a million, you was on a new jumper. Uh-huh. He was on a uh, with Adam. Yeah. And he was trying to get a million followers. Right. And he was like, he was like, you want to shout so you can get help get you a million. Right. Did that help get you a million? I don't even know. I ain't even paying attention to it. I know he did shout me out, though. I didn't even pay attention to it. Cool. Because that, that's that fits perfect in ending this up. As a young, independent dude that's coming up, right? Sometimes you need that help. Like I said, you put up any handouts. What are you willing to do to help? The next guy, or like, let's say I'm I'm independent, I'm in a game. If I drop this, would you post it to help my platform? Yeah, I mean, if, if we present it right, like, everything's about presentation, you know what I'm saying? Like, I want my head for the motherfucker out if it's presented right, you know what I'm saying? If I see, like, you know what I'm saying, the urge to, you know what I'm saying? Oh, my shit, because I, I, it's like, every, everybody, you can't help everybody, that's I what you're going to find out, too, but, yeah, everybody, when you get in a certain good, everybody going to claim they going through this, or they got, you know what I'm saying, you, you already just got to be kind of knowledgeable of the situation, and, and you go with your gut feeling on it, you know what I'm saying? I ain't, I'm a motherfucker, I ain't see it well. I feel like niggas went through a lot of shit just to get this interview and it's still like what I wanted to be, recording on my phone, but it is what it is. So, I'm going to send it to you if you're totally good. You don't have to post on the page, I don't know how it is. It's a story, just let niggas know. And uh, so they can check it out. And um, I appreciate you again, my guy.